Hey everyone, have I here been a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, it's time for another edition of Best Teams on Global. This is the May 2023 edition. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So May was definitely an interesting month. We ended up having a dual Golden Week celebration for JP and Global. Uh, we ended up seeing also the future of Dokkan Festival exclusive uh, TURs and then of course yellow coin LRs the caliber of those units if they're going to continue that is going to be very very incredible so it's going to be very interesting to see how they follow up with this and don't forget we had an amazing Goku Day celebration actually just kidding I did not end up getting what I wanted to see for that part of the celebration there but anyway let's go ahead and dive into the list first and foremost let's start with the disclaimer of that the term best teams is my opinion and is purely subjective there's no official tier list or best teams ranking from Akasuke or Bandai how I rank my teams I look at leader skill damage defensive output special skills flexibility and bench strength game mode effectiveness and overall gameplay and of course when it comes to game mode effectiveness we're still looking at cell max and ultimate red zones as the kind of the top tier but of course we have extreme super battle roads super battle roads and then everything else so that is also taken into consideration when you look at last month's list here uh, it was a strong list i think and uh, this month there's going to be some changes uh, some teams moving up some moves move, uh, teams moving down we actually have a team two teams three teams on this list that's out of the top 10 because of a couple different things but first and foremost let's talk about the great merge and this is something i mentioned last month where we had a bunch of teams with using very similar similar units and uh, we needed to actually merge now i am almost doing the great merge because I am still keeping movie heroes fairly separate, but I am merging other teams. So, of course, I've already merged uh, Gamma 1, Gamma 2 together. I've already merged Cooler and Wicked Bloodline Metal Cooler. Um, but now we ended up actually finally uh, combining superheroes team with LROP and Ultimate Gohan, even though Ultimate Gohan does have a pretty uh, wide breadth of a secondary leader skill in Hybrid Saints. I still think majority of those units are just going to be running superheroes on. Um, and then, of course, Yamcha that was just released uh, prior month um, with Earthbred Fighters, uh, that is absolutely getting merged with the World Tournament Goku, being that the World Tournament Goku is just so good. And uh, if you're going to run the best teams, Earthbred Fighters, it's generally going to be with the... Um, with the Goku as the leader. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and roll into first the honorable mention, which is actually the honorable mention of a team that was in the top 10, but no longer is in the top 10. Uh, and speaking of merging teams together, this might be one of the first ones we do with Movie Heroes, and that's the Join Forces Movie Heroes combo with Pure Saiyans as the 200% uh, boost here. Still a very, very good team. Top 15 probably for sure. And uh, probably for sure, uh, you know, for sure, I would say in the top 15 just lost its its um, place because there's so many other teams that ended up jumping this team here due to the fact that uh, none of the world tournament or the golden week celebration units ended up uh, boosting this team at all. So it ended up dropping out of the top 10. So but still, for those who are running a joint forces movie heroes team, it's still very, very fun. Um, and but the top tier units that you're getting running like LROP and LRGG, uh, they are running at 170%. So, sorry, movie heroes join forces, you're finally out of the top 10, but maybe you will return in the future. So, let's go ahead and move on to the transition to the top 10 here. So, no more uh, other honorable mentions. Um, let's start with the return of a top 10 team. And that is actually the Bardock team. Well, technically the Goku team, right? So. Goku's family, stored figures, and then Pure Saints as the 200%. Uh, as Bardock as the uh, leader here, you're generally just running in the main rotation a bunch of Gokus. Goku, all Gokus are 200% um, on this team here. And of course, with the rotation of the World Tournament Goku and the Kid Goku it being in as one of the main rotations here, makes this team incredibly, incredibly strong, along with Carnival Goku and Gaku, hey, you know what? A very, very amazing team. Now, the biggest issue here is you don't really have any options as floaters. You're running Bardock as a floater here, and both Bardocks as floaters, and then the overall flexibility of the team um, is hurt by that, right? So uh, we have a few good support units, but not like the best of the best, but you know, the Super Saiyan Bardock is still very, very good. 
Um, now, if you do want to run Bardock as main rotation, you can do that, and you're actually putting Godku and World Tournament Goku uh, as, as a floater. Now, you're going to have a lot more floater options, but hey, who, who are we going to do that, right? We're not going to do that. And, of course, Bardock having that amazing scouter skill definitely puts them in the top 10. I could probably could have put this team a little bit higher, but uh, you're going to find that the other teams uh, that I'm going to talk about is just simply better with that flexibility, especially in the floater position. Now, let's talk about number nine and number eight. I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Which position should I put these teams uh, in here? So I figured, you know, Cooler's been number nine forever, and we're going to keep the Cooler team at number nine here. Terrifying Conqueror's Movie Boss's Transformation Boost. He ended up getting a slight upgrade with Piccolo Jr. as an option that you can put on the team here. But the problem is with Piccolo Jr. is he doesn't mesh very well with the rest of the team. Um, if you're going to run first position, um, Janemba, generally speaking, you're going to put them, uh, Janemba, in the first position here. You could run Piccolo Jr., you know, in the first position, uh, you know, out of the Golden Frieza. But, of course, they don't really link up very well with um, with Cooler in itself. So, overall, I think, I guess, the synergy and everything here, I ended up just keeping this team at number 9, even though it got a slight upgrade with Piccolo Jr., but only at 170%. And still a very, very overall amazing amazing team that's why they're still in the top 10 i would say still the best extreme team in the game and uh and yeah just i still enjoy running this team when i can run this team here now of course being that this is the number nine team i actually had piccolo jr as the number eight team a lot of you guys might go wait a minute that should be a lot higher piccolo jr is amazing yes piccolo jr is in a fantastic fantastic tur it's an amazing broken unit especially for super battle road and if you can run LROP on this team with Piccolo Jr., yes, it is extremely very good. But the rest of the team, not very good, right? That's the biggest difference, right? So Gifted Warriors, Terry Fan Conqueror's Giant Form. Giant Form, you can just throw that away. The 200% portion of Battle of Fate World Tournament is very, very, very small um, when it comes to the units that you can use. You can run Piccolos and you can run Vegeta's. But ultimately speaking, if you're saying, hey, you know what, I want to run an incredible extreme team, it's nowhere near the synchronization of like this team here, right, for extreme. And, um, and being extreme leader, uh, extreme team leader, um, yeah, you can mix and match with super units and it's going to be fantastic with like LROP. But generally speaking of itself, it's just, it's just not quite there. This would be much higher if the synergy if we had you know a little bit more extreme units that were at 200 uh, percent and uh, some other options there but again piccolo jr yes is very very good is amazing and that's why they're in the top 10 but the team in of itself uh has a lot of issues uh, even do even though it can do a lot of content uh i think overall gameplay isn't as fun for me on this team as it is on cooler but still, I think, you know, this team is slightly better. So, anyway, that's what I had the issue with with number 9 and number 8. Let me know what you guys think there. Let's go ahead and now move on to number 7. Number 7 it easily could have been higher, but ended up getting a huge upgrade with Boma on this team here. Boma even at 200% uh, is even better. And you just put her in the first position. She busts everyone else. Um, but that's pretty much it. You know, we, we don't, we didn't have World Tournament Goku on this team here. I really wish they would have put World Tournament Go, Goku as youth, because technically that's probably where he's at when it comes to age. Yes, it's they just put him at normal Goku there, and I wish they would have changed his name slightly, especially added the youth on here. Would have made this team much, much better, and maybe even over the top five, even maybe in the top three, with if they would have were to do that, right? So, uh, but you know, nothing. You know, much to talk about here. The the rotation solid. Kid Goku's amazing. Boma's incredible. And then you have a lot of you know decent options for um, floaters. Um, so there you have it. Nothing much to say about the physical uh, Kid Goku team here. You have DB Saga, Youth, Exploding Rage, with Dragon Ball Seekers and Bond of Friendship. So very good here. So now moving up in the world um, into the number. Actually, dropping down, I'm sorry, let me take that back. Dropping down to the number six spot, falling out of the top five, is the other Movie Heroes team. And the other Movie Heroes team is Power Beyond Super Saiyan and Movie Heroes. 
just because again they didn't get any upgrades in the celebration but still an amazing amazing team it dropped out of the top five um, being that of course LROP is running at 170 uh, percent you don't have that many um, the, the top tier units running at 200 percent so thus it does get a ding on this team here but overall still incredible incredible and um, you can run a multitude of different types of variations and uh, but power beyond super saiyan didn't get a boost movie heroes didn't get a boost um so that's why they ended up being in the top uh, the the sixth spot here so but moving on up is uh pure saiyans hybrid saiyans with gaku so this leader skill in itself is just incredible but much like the number 10 spot so you can you can tell how good gaku is comparable to bardock because this is basically the same rotation as you're running on uh, the Bardock team, right? But you have this as the number five team uh, versus Bardock being the number <laughs> the number ten spot. But also on top of that, you also have a incredible, incredible uh, bench flexibility, things of that nature, right? Pure Saiyans, hybrid Saiyans. Are you kidding me? One of the best uh, leader skills in the game, no doubt about it. Now you are limited with Power of Wishes and Exploding Rage. But overall, still incredible, incredible rotations. So, now if you do want to run Gaku in the main rotation, you can do this. But, you know, like, again, why would you want to run World Tournament Goku as a floater? But you could if you wanted to. So, a lot of flexibility. Very just, you know, top tier. Um, but it did still only end up in number five. I would say some of you guys would probably argue it should be a little bit higher. So coming in at number five is Pure Saiyans, Hybrid Saiyans, Power of Wishes, Exploding Rage with Godku. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the number four spot. Number four spot ended up dropping, but it's still the best Movie Heroes team that you can run. That's Movie Heroes uh, with Gamma 1 on the team here. The reason why I still kept this one above, even though they didn't get an upgrade above like the Hybrid Saiyans, uh, here on there is just Gamma 1 just buffs everyone else up defensively. Uh, Gamma 2 can buff up on the uh, office of side. So they there was a big gap in, in my opinion when it comes to the movie heroes like from here on up There's a big gap between those those top three teams and the ones below but now the gap has closed and uh, Very 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 good uh, Still even though I didn't get an upgrade uh, so that you can tell why and how um, good these teams were even prior to it because the world tournament upgrades were um, so good but still gamma one gamma two um, you're looking at uh, this these rotations here uh, just I still love this team it's so fun um, so easy to complete most of you know really all the content and still just overly overly strong so coming in at number four movie heroes with gamma one again I already merged this with gamma two um, and is a team that uh, is still top tier and will be top tier until the eight year anniversary. So let's go ahead and now move on to the number three spot. So the number three spot again has dropped one spot. Uh, this ended up actually getting upgrade uh, slightly, I guess, and that is Bond of Parent and Child and you're running LRGG. This is a slightly upgrade because you can run World Tournament Goku, but the synchronization with LRGG is just not quite there. You absolutely can run it in replace of these two here, but um, yeah, having off rotation again is kind of weird, but you know, Carnival Goku and the Gohan does link up extremely well with LRGG. But yes, you can easily just go ahead and slot this uh, unit here. But again, with LRGG, slot one is taken up, right? So it is locked up, locked in in the first position. And then uh, you're, you're going to be running whatever floaters you want to run. And Bon Parent Child is such a, a huge, huge uh, breadth of different units that you can run here. So still very, very fun team. Can basically complete anything that you want to complete here. Uh, if you want to run like a Merzumasu, yes, you can do that. Eh, not so much there. But uh, but yeah, this is a extremely, extremely powerful team. And again, that gap is now being closed up from the other teams because a lot of other teams ended up getting upgrades uh, but again i love lrgg bond and parent and child future saga with battle of fate here and it's still for me a top three the top three best teams on global now what took over top two right so we there's a team that basically um 
just came out of, not only nowhere, but was kind of toward the bottom of the list and now shot up to number two. And you guys would definitely understand why these two are the, the two best teams in the game. It's like no doubt about it. So, but there would be a controversy. I would say that some of you guys might think the number two is number one and number one is number two. So, but for me, number two, the second best team in the game is the Earthbred Fighters powerful comeback with the World Tournament Goku. Now, the, <laughs> the combinations you can run on this team is outrageous, right? You can run uh, Piccolo, uh, LROP with Piccolo Jr. You can run... Uh, Goku with Piccolo Jr. You're definitely going to run you know, Goku with uh, Kid Goku, even though he's running 170%. Bulma, unfortunately, is 170%, but she can run with LROP, right? It's a crazy, crazy rotation there. Uh, Yajirobe just boosts up everybody. It's it's pretty amazing on, on that. Uh, if you want to run more of a, like a triple support team, you can run that. Just, the combinations are incredible. And it's easily you can say okay it's 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 a top three team even the the best team in the game. I just think there's a, a slight slight benefit when it comes to the number one team, which you guys should know by now. Oh, of course we end up merging uh, the Yamcha with this team, right? So don't forget about that. Um, but you know, generally speaking, when you're running this number two team, this Earthbred Fighters Powerful Comeback Battle Fate World Tournament. Um, the flexibility is also everything everything you want everything you want so easily is the, the you know top two team here um goku is incredible piccolo jr is incredible basically all three of the um of this celebration of the may um golden week celebration is on this team here right so bulma goku and, and piccolo jr so uh but yeah no doubt about it you know one of the best teams ever ever designed and created uh, in Dokkan and uh, is the number two team here. We'll see what happens to this team at the eight year anniversary. It's going to get a boost in the eight year anniversary, right? So that's going to be very, very interesting to see how high Earthbred Fires actually goes. But staying at number one, so this is number two here, staying at number one, um, it's still, it's still superheroes, Battle of Wits, and Piccolo, and LROP. Again, until the eight year anniversary, I think. Piccolo stays at number one. It's still a cheat code at this point in time for uh, end game content. You're running LRGG. You have the slight upgrade with um, you know, with the uh, uh, the easy A to Piccolo, right? The the physical Piccolo there. Uh, it, it's just too good. It's just too good. You can support with uh, Gamma One, Gamma Two. Let's uh, <laughs> right, like right here. You don't die. You just don't die. Um, you might die from like maybe I don't know Gamma Two or something, but it's 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 super supported. LROP is that cheat code, right? You have a problem, you go ahead and transform, and you might transform, and you might have two three rotations just just, just destroy everything else, right? So having two orange piccolos still is the biggest cheat code on there. Remember, Gohan is now merged on here, so Gohan is not on the list anymore. Uh, because hey, why run a superhero team with one pickle um, or uh, an orange piccolo when you can run it with two orange piccolos, right? So uh, ultimately, these three units here with the two um, with LRGG LROP, it's still in the number one slot. Again, you can you guys can easily argue that Earthbred Fighters could be number one on there, but they're they're right there, right? I think it's just a preference of you know which one you want to you know you want to run, right? So. You know, Earthbreak fighters or superheroes, um, but yeah, let me know. That's a it's a it's a good conversation to have, a good debate to have to see what the, what the best team on global is. I just still have it at number one is superheroes. So here is the list for the month of May. Coming in at number ten is the Bardock Goku family uh, team, basically the Goku team there at the number ten spot. You have still staying at the number nine and still being in the top ten. Uh, is um, LR Cooler, and then you have the uh, new Piccolo Jr. in the number eight spot. Uh, then you have the Kid Goku, right? That team is, you know, the youth team is very, very good. Uh, then you have um, Movie Heroes dropping, right? Uh, with um, uh, Power Beyond, uh, Power Beyond uh, Super Saiyan, and Movie Heroes dropping. Then you have the upgrade, right? You have Goku moving up to the top five. You have the best movie heroes team in Gamma One, 
dropping number four. Um, dropping in number three is LRGG and the Bond of Parent and Child. Earthbred Fighters flying up to the number two spot, and I still think Superheroes is still number one. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think about the team structure and the team uh, uh, rankings here. Uh, agree, disagree. Tell me the reason. Just don't say, hey, I think this is this. Tell me the reason. Back it up. Back it up with the statement. And I love you know debating and, and discussing down in the comment section below. And of course, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.